Yes. <laughs> Nico! <laughs> Welcome back to another class on Verbling.com with Teacher Abby. Today we're going to be having a beginner level lesson on the topic of housework. My favorite thing. Hi, <laughs> <I> Abby. <am being. laughs> Mateo, how are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> What are you and laughing um, at? What's so funny? Sorry, 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 uh, Abby. Uh, can you um, call me Matt? Matt? If you want. If you want. It's easy. It's easy, no? Do I say Matteo wrong? Uh, no, no, no. It's, it's okay. It's right. Uh, but it's, it's easy if you want. Okay. Sure, I can call if you, you Matt. Like, if you like Matteo, no problem. <laughs> I like Matteo. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> it's a good name. I like to call you Matteo. That's okay with you. Okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> Welcome back to the class, Matteo. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Let me say hello to Asma. Welcome. Might be working on your, just getting set up there. Hi, Asma, how are you? So, Ali, do you have anything exciting planned for the weekend? What are you going to do? Mm, I don't know. I don't have any plan yet. No? Yes. I'm, I'm going boating. But you know what happened the other day? There was an accident on the lake. This happens all the time here, every summer. But um, a man... A, a boy, actually, a young boy, was was water skiing with his friends, and he fell. And when the boat turned around to go get the boy to pick him up, they didn't see him in the water, and they killed him by accident. Really? Yeah, it was really terrible, and it happens every year. So I'm scared to go in water skiing now. I don't want to get hit by a boat. In your town? Yep, in my town. Oh my god. <coughs> very, very sad. Let so me just welcome. Don't, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go, but I'll stay in the boat. I'll stay inside the boat. Uh, be safe and so on. Please. Oh, okay, Ali, I will. <laughs> Thank you for worrying about me. Maori, <laughs> welcome back to the class. Thank you, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking you. Very good. Nice to have you with us again. Asma, are you there? Yeah, hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Asma, where are you from? Me too. I'm from Tunisia. From Tunisia? Yeah. Wonderful. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. I don't have many students from Tunisia. That's very exciting. <laughs> Okay, I'm first, I am the first student. <laughs> Francisco, welcome to the class. Hi. Good hello, morning. Hello. Do you have anything exciting planned for your weekend, Francisco? It's Friday. Yeah, yes, I, I, I am very happiness. You're very happy. Happy, yes, yes. Happy for the... <laughs> yes, I don't work. You should be happy. It's Friday. You have every reason to be happy in the world. Michael, welcome back. Hey, teacher. Hey, hi. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Uh, Mustafa, welcome back. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, teacher. Happy Friday for you. Thank you. Happy Friday for you, too. Or is it Thank Saturday you. where you live? Uh, no, it's a Friday, but it is a night. It is a ten, uh, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Okay, yeah. welcome to the class. Good to have you with us. And Pinar, welcome. Hi to everyone. Thank Hello, you. Pinar. Where are you from? I'm from Turkey. From Turkey. Nice to meet you. Nice yes, to have me you. Me too. Class. Thank you. Is this your first verbling class or just your first class with me? Just first class with you. Okay, well, it's very nice to have you with us. Thank you for joining me today. My name's Thank Abby. You. I'm Thank from you. Canada. Nice to have you guys. And today Thank we're you. going to be talking about housework. 
So tell me, what do you think of when you think of the word housework, Pinar? Do you like it? Do you hate it? No, I don't like it. <laughs> Actually, I don't. I don't even um, know any person who likes houseworks. Really? You know, sometimes I like housework. When I'm when I'm feeling kind of sad, housework makes me happy. Oh that no, awesome? just just cooking uh, makes me happy. Okay. Cooking makes you happy. That's good. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else in the class enjoy some kind of housework? Maybe a specific chore? Making dishes and... Um, washing what's dishes? The second? Yeah, w sorry. Uh, washing <laughs> dishes and... Uh, not hoovering, but wh what's the American one? Vacuuming. Vacuuming, yeah. That's your favorite. I didn't... Oh, Michael, you know me well. I love to vacuum. I don't like... Who know? Do you remember my least favorite chore? Um, iron. Iron. Wow. <laughs> You've got a good memory. That's wild. I hate ironing. I, I don't think I ever am going to iron ever again. Just putting it on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody else want to tell me about their favorite and their least favorite house chore? Do nothing. Nothing. That's your favorite thing. <laughs> In my house, yes, but I needed to do a lot of things. What part of Mexico do you live in? I am living in Guadalajara. Guadalajara. Okay. Yes, Very I love this place. Oh. I think it is better than a lot of places in Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, before I was living in Ciudad de México. And uh, Monterrey, in the north of Mexico, I don't like uh, the cities. No? But in Guadalajara, it's better because it, the weather, uh, for me, it's okay. Um, it's, it's comfortable for me because it's very similar to my country, in my city in Brazil, Sao Paulo. Cool. Yeah, sometimes, yes, sometimes I needed to clean in my house, uh, iron my, my clothes. Um, I, 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 a lot of things, I wash the dishes, but uh, I I don't know, I don't like it to do this. No? <laughs> no. Does anybody in the class want to share? Amar, I like cooking a lot. I love to cook. That's not really a house chore, is it? Well, I guess it depends how you look at it, something that needs to be done. Ali, would you rather cook? Or do the dishes after the cooking? Uh, I like both. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. And, uh, I like cleaning. You do? Are you trying to trick me again? No. What? <laughs> you like cleaning and you like cooking. Ladies, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, a, kind, a, a kind of uh, get out of your stress sometimes. Uh, you uh, need to some move. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to uh, move your body some, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. It is a good idea from time to time. Mustafa, I want you to choose one of the pictures on the screen and describe it to me. Describe the chore. Uh, okay. Mm. Uh, the women uh, who try to clean the clothes by the washer room, uh, by the washer machine. Okay, she's washing her clothes. By the washer, washer machine. In the washing machine. Okay. Very good. Excellent. I think we saw that picture yesterday, didn't we? The same woman <laughs> yes. doing her laundry. Yes. Right. And w did you tell me that you had a washing machine or did you get other people to do it for you? Uh, actually, uh, sometimes I do by I do that by myself, uh, and uh, sometimes no, I someone else do the the clothes for me. Okay, very good. Pushing the clothes for me. Asma. Yeah. How do you divide your clothing before you put it in the washing machine? How do you divide it? Uh. Yeah, the white with the white, mm -hmm. uh, the red with the red, 
yeah something uh, like this and I uh, wash uh, clothes uh, in my off day mm -hmm. very good so how often do you do laundry yeah how often do you do your laundry once a day every uh, two days uh, maybe two days per week Two days a week. Okay, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go over to Matteo. Can you choose a different we picture? Are not, uh, we are not a big family, uh, that's why. Uh, and I'm busy uh, 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 and uh, all the time uh, out in the work. So uh, two days uh, in my off day, uh, I wash uh, clothes. Okay, very good. So you always have clean clothes. That's great. Um, Matteo, can you choose a different picture for us, Matteo, and describe it to us? Uh, I I choose. Okay. Um, po -po -po. So I can't choose because <laughs> I don't know what he said. Uh, these things, <laughs> and uh, I know. Uh, used for cleaning in house <coughs> and uh, the picture um, up uh, the women uh, and the washing machine okay uh, we we just talked about the woman in the washing machine though right uh, up up um, so choose I a different maybe i'll help you choose this picture to describe what these things okay are. good good this is a picture okay and uh, I know <laughs> uh, just uh, these things are needed for clean home. Okay, and these are things and to floor. clean the home. Floor. They clean the floor. They're called. What's the, this one called? What's this one here called? I don't know, Sage. I don't know. <laughs> no? And I don't know. Who can help uh, me? Somebody yell it out. It's a broom. It's a broom, broom. Thank you, broom? Ali. Broom, broom. Broom, broom. <laughs> <laughs> broom, broom. <laughs> it's a broom, broom. <laughs> it's a broom. And this, Ali, what do we call this? Uh, I don't know. Um, Sweep. <laughs> nope. A dust. Pan. Broom, a broom, broom, and a dust pan. Okay, now somebody said sweep. Sweep is the verb. You sweep. Uh, sweep. Um, I I know this. Uh, I I saw um, uh, often in the supermarket. Sweep, uh, sweep, sweep dream. Sweep. Uh, okay, that's sweep different. Dream. That's sweet. Dreams. This is ah, sweet. <laughs> Please look in the look in the chat for us, Matteo, so you can see it. Okay. I I see. Yes. Uh, I see. I saw. Sweet. Uh, no. Sweep. Sweep. Uh, and dream. Sweet dream. For cleaning. A okay. brand, I don't know. Okay, it's then okay. it's a play on words. Okay, let's move on. Thank you very much, Matteo. We're gonna move on now. Okay, let's go to our next mm -hmm. picture with um, Francisco. What do you see happening in this picture? What is this? Uh, I see. Uh, I see uh, a clean. Mirror. A green what? Uh, uh, for clean mirror. Okay, very good. I see a green bottle for cleaning mirrors. Absolutely, it could be. It yes. could be maybe like some maybe Windex. Windex. Ah right? yes, Windex. Yeah. And what else do you see in the picture? Let's ask uh, Michael. What else is in the picture? It's for me the questions. 
Um, no, this one is for a different student now. Uh, yes. What, uh, this on the screen? The other thing in the screen here below. What is it's that? It's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> it's, a, Yay, it's a thing that you hold in your that. hand and you sweep, um, I assume, I presume, I suppose, so um, kind of flat, uh, flat, flat what? Flat uh, surfaces? Yeah, flat surfaces okay. like uh, walls you could do, or tables, or you could do with uh, like. Uh, um, Does anybody know what it's called? Sweep broomer. No. <laughs> Broom sweep. No, it's not to sweep. This is not to sweep at all. This is to scrub. It's a scrub brush. So we have okay. to sweep which is to move dry things on the ground, dust, etc. And to scrub is to, um, to push. It's like dirt, oil, something like dry dirt. Exactly. Yeah. Right, for cleaning a tile in a bathroom. Exactly. Perfect. For, so you would say, I need to scrub the tile. I need to scrub the tile. Yeah. yeah. If you're really dirty after work, you say, I need to go have a bath and scrub my body. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> also, also in the spa. Yes, maybe on your feet or your scrubber, hands. Right? Scrubber skin. Exactly. Wonderful job. Thank you. Moving over. Hi, Amir. Welcome to the class. Hi, Abby. Good to see you again. Thank you. Do you know what this is? Hmm. It's something for... Um, it's used at the bathroom. Maybe for... I uh, clean the floor. Okay, very good. You use these to clean the bathroom floor. What are they called? What are the tools called? Do you know? No. Okay, a mop. Thank you, Ali. And what's the other thing called? The thing in the background. Who knows what that is? Bucket. Bucket. Hey, bucket. Good job, Michael. A mop and a bucket. So you clean the bathroom floors with that. What else can you do with the bucket? What else can you do? Garden. Okay, you can use it in the garden. Absolutely. <laughs> in a garden. You can do many things. What else? Wash your car? Uh, wash car. <laughs> <laughs> wash yourself. Wash your body. <laughs> like if you are in the forest. Yeah, I've done that a few times. That's not very fun. <laughs> you, you, you really? Can swim in it. Sorry? You can swim in the water. <laughs> fish tank. It's a great fish tank. <laughs> okay, good job. So who likes to mop? Who likes to mop the floor? This is probably my favorite chore. No, it's not my yeah. favorite. After vacuuming, I love to do my floors, though. <laughs> Nobody? Okay, up here. <laughs> vacuum cleaner. I get excited just looking at it. This is a vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. So what kind of vacuum cleaner is this? Where does the dirt go? Where does sorry, Eddie. Can you write it? The dust. The yes. Dust. A vacuum cleaner. Can you repeat vacuum. that for me? Um, vacuum. Vacuum a vacuum cleaner, cleaner clean uh, something like dust. Dust. Cleans vacuum. dust off of what kind of surface? Mm. Uh, in the sofa and the hair. Um, carpet. 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 Yes. Clear carpet. Carpet. Very good. The sofa or the couch. Excellent. Mm. Yeah. Very useful tool. Very useful. The car. A floor as well. And what is she doing? 
cook something or cleaning the house, I don't know. <laughs> She's cleaning up. Great multitaskers. <laughs> Can I get everybody who's not speaking or doesn't have something to say to please mute your microphone? Everybody who's not speaking or would like to share, please mute your microphone. Thank you very much. Awesome. So there you have it. There is all our chores, our pictures that we have here. Any questions about the pictures before we continue? Okay. We've got a great little article that we're going to read together. Let's start with Mustafa. Would you like to read for us the first okay. paragraph? Okay. Every, every week, Anta does homework. She does homework on, on Tuesday. There are many dif different things to do. These things are called household chores. Anta has many chores to do every Tuesday. Excellent. Good job. Why do you think it's a good... Oh, first of all, any questions on the paragraph? Why do you think it's a good idea to dedicate one day a week to housework? What do you think, um, Francis? If you have a dog... If you have a dog, you need it to clean it every day, I think. I agree with you. That's true. Thank you for sharing that with us, Amari. Maybe we can hear from Asma. Asma, why do you think it's important to dedicate one day a week to housework? Mm -hmm. It's uh, easy. <laughs> To clean uh, on, only on one day, not uh, all the day. And uh, if you have work, so uh, uh, and normally you, you cannot uh, you cannot do uh, housework. So it's good to uh, to uh, to do the housework uh, on uh, on X day. In, that you are, you are suitable. Yeah, very good. What can happen if you don't have a specific day dedicated to doing housework? David, welcome to the class. Good to see you. What can happen, David, if you don't have a day dedicated to housework? What might happen? Okay, if you don't have a specific day uh, to do these kinds of work, uh, maybe you will never do it because you can think, okay, I will do it tomorrow, but finally maybe you don't do it. Never. Yeah, exactly right. Maybe you procrastinate. You say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow yeah. you <laughs> get invited out or you want to go to the beach or something and then the house is a disaster, right? Yeah. Does, does anybody in the class have a specific... Thank you, David, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank you. Does, any, does anybody in the class have a specific day where they clean either a portion of their house or they do a specific chore? Depends. I I'm have here a, in, the, in my country. Okay, go ahead. Let's, everybody will have a chance, so why don't you start? Go ahead. Emma, was it you? I don't have a, a specific day, but... I have a clean lady who comes once a week, but no, I don't do this kind of, of work. Okay. Very good. Thanks for sharing. And who was the other person that was going to share? Yes, me. Uh, here in my country, um, the, the day that uh, we I clean the house is Friday because uh, uh, actually, this this actions the um, women that who who do it, and the days um, as you know, women go go to work, so they they don't have um, much more time to do it every day, so they they carry forward to to Friday. Okay, very good. So Friday is a good day. Then you can enjoy a clean house on the weekend, right, Amr? Yes. Very good. Perfect. But Thanks for sharing work, that. Some work can, you can't uh, uh, carry forward, like um, um, 
uh, uh, kitchens because they, they they make the house uh, smell not good. <laughs> That's true. It smells like couscous, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. But I think that sounds, that smells pretty good. Now, I'm different. I actually do not have a dedicated day for housework. I like to clean a little bit every day so that it's always clean and I don't have to waste one day cleaning. Anybody else <laughs> do that? Yeah, me too. Better that way, isn't it? Good. Okay, Mustafa, you read that first paragraph for us, correct? Yes. Michael, can you read the next part for us? Where to start? The highlighted part. First, she does the laundry. She puts the dirty clothes into the washing machine. She puts some detergent. How do you pronounce this? Detergent. You said it right. Detergent. Mm -hmm into the machine and then she turns it on. Awesome. And can you finish it for us, Matteo? Okay. Um, started uh, from after. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Of course I can, yeah. Okay. After the clothes are washed, she puts them in a clothes dryer to dry. After they are dry, she, took, she takes the clothes out and folds them. Very good. Okay, so let's describe the process of doing laundry. In your own words, Ali, tell us about what it's like to do laundry. First, uh, you put... Uh Dirty clothes uh, in the washing machine. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, you put some detergent and maybe uh, near the and detergent something uh, make it uh, smell good. I don't know how to say in English. Um, fabric softener. Fabric softener. Yeah, something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. After the clothes uh, are washed, uh, you put uh, <coughs> in them in uh, the clothes, dry clothes dryer and uh, waiting for the uh, dry. Very good. Excellent. I like that you mentioned fabric softener. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, yeah. I, I know the chores. Do you use <laughs> Suavitel or do you use Downy? Do you recognize? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you're like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job. Any questions on that paragraph? Okay, let's go ahead and continue. It's your turn, Francisco. Are you ready? Could you please read the next highlighted part for us, the next paragraph? <coughs> yes. Next, she vacuums the living room carpet. She uses a vacuum cleaner. After another vacuum the carpet, she sweeps and mops the chicken floor. Mm. And we could have David finish that for it. Oh, wait, before you do, can you repeat kitchen floor? Kitchen floor. Kitchen floor. Beautiful. Nice pronunciation, Francisco. Thank you. And over to David, finish off that paragraph for us. Next, she sweeps the floor with a broom. Then she gets a bucket of water and soap. She uses a mop to mop the floor with the soapy water. Excellent. Good job. So why do you think she does it in this order? She starts by vacuuming the carpet, then she sweeps and mops, and then... Well, that's weird. Why does she do that? <laughs> Who can explain her procedure? Why does she do it the way she does it? 
she thinks that uh, after vacuuming uh, there will remain some uh, dust and by sweeping the floor with a broom she would remove 100% of the dust and of course after that she uh, takes a bucket of water and soap so soapy water to mop uh, the floor with the soapy water so uh, after that she cleans definitely the area okay very good no. yeah exactly yeah. very good but really it's kind of weird because if you use like vacuum cleaner you don't need to uh, sweep after that because uh, that's not like uh, better there to use um, broom well, than I vacuum cleaner. If you don't vacuum uh, at first uh, when you sweep or mop and uh, dirt uh, are stick the floor or something like that. Mm -hmm. But why would you need to uh, sweep after you? Well, maybe uh, she only has an upright vacuum. An what is up that? An upright vacuum is a vacuum that doesn't have an attachment for non-carpeted surfaces, so you only use it on the carpet. Mm, and but, then there's other vacuums with separate attachments where you can also clean like ceramic tiles or linoleum and you can also do the carpet so maybe that's her case oh okay but usually like uh, these uh, vacuum cleaners they, um, you can buy them with all the attachments I yeah it's true but like for example um, here actually in this house my grandma sweeps the floors and she vacuums the carpet that's just how she okay. likes to do it okay Okay, good job, you guys. Excellent. Let's continue with asthma. Could you please read the next part for us? Okay. Next, Anita rips the tables. She whips the table in the dining room. Then she uh, whips the coffee table in the living room. She also whips the countertop in the kitchen. After she sweeps the tables... Oh, that's okay, up to there. Oh, okay. And we'll get Amr to read the next part for us. Amr, could you read the next highlighted portion, please? Amr? Amr. After, okay. after she whips, after she whips the, the tables, she whips the windows, uh, she uses a cloth to whip the tables and the windows. Next, she cleans the bathroom. Thank you. And Amari, could you finish the rest of that next paragraph? Of course. Um, she cleans the shower, the toilet, and the sink. Then, she wipes the mirror and cleans the floor. After this, Anita tidies up her be bedroom. Her children clean their own rooms, so she doesn't need it to do. Okay, she very good. Needed to, needed to. So sorry. she doesn't need to. To, yes. Yeah. Okay, good job. Any questions on the vocabulary for those two paragraphs? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. I just correct uh, the correct pronunciations for wipes or wipes. 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 Wipes the tables. Okay. What do we call it when you wipe the surfaces in a room? For example, the tables, the countertops, maybe the ornaments, the lamps. What do we call that when we're cleaning to wipe it? Clean up. Dusting. Yes. I need to dust the house. It's funny, isn't it? Because dust is what you're removing, but we say, I need to dust the house, and that means remove the dust from the surfaces. Okay, any questions on that? No? Okay, so what do you think? Do you think that she does things in a strange order? Do you think she should wipe the surfaces and then vacuum and do the floors? Or do you think that she does things in the right order and why? She needs a hand, uh, a help from someone. 
You think she needs help? Why do you think she needs help? Too much activity is going on, like three paragraphs. <laughs> so it's just kind of <laughs> her, her, what she does. So she wipes and then she cleans the shower. That's a lot of work for a woman. So I think she either should break down that work in days, like from Monday to Friday or mm -hmm. something. Or she needs a help from, I don't know, from his, uh, her, sorry, her husband maybe, or could be like um, uh, to hire some uh, um, cleaning lady, or what's the proper name? A cleaning lady, that's perfect. A maid? Yeah, maid like um, lady? she could help her with some uh, difficult activities. Nice. Good answer. Okay, I was thinking, I mean, I do things differently, but I like to dust first because then the particles that might fall off your cloth or onto the floor, you'll be able to vacuum up later. But I suppose it's not the end of the world, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and Ali, sorry, Asma, go ahead. Yeah, she has too much time, I agree with you, I said, yeah. The best, I think, that uh, if uh, she uh, whips uh, the mirror and the shower and um, uh, and other things, uh, the window and other things, uh, uh, firstly, uh, then uh, she can uh, uh, cleaning the, the floor. I agree. See, as women, we know how this is done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Ali, can you please read the last one? Okay. And finally, Anita waters the plants. She likes plants, uh, and her plants all look very healthy. She knows how to take care of her plants as well as her house. Very good. Excellent reading. So we would say that Anita is what kind of person? When it comes to cleaning and taking care of what is hers, what kind of qualities does she have? What do you guys think? Hard worker. B. Hard worker. What else? She she likes to exercise. She likes to move her body. She likes yeah. exercise. Clean but, freak. Uh, this one. But she goes to yoga uh, on Thursday or Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I I I remember. <laughs> Ali, your, your memory is phenomenal. I'm very jealous of your memory. <laughs> so to, now we know what she does on Tuesday. I was, I was dying to know. Now I know. <laughs> Good uh, job. We, we can say that uh, she is a house uh, workaholic. You think she's a workaholic? Yeah. <laughs> house workaholic. Yeah. House workaholic. Addicted by uh, house uh -huh. work. Yeah, she's definitely a hard worker. She's got lots of good qualities. And we could say, too, in English, we could say she, she takes... Mm -hmm. That means that she wants to be proud of her house. And it doesn't matter if somebody's rich or poor. Anybody can take pride in their house by keeping it clean and tidy. Any questions on the reading activity? So what does that mean? She takes uh, pride in her house. It means that she's, she wants her house to be a good representation of herself. So she would be embarrassed if it was clean or unkept. She wants okay. to be proud. When people come to visit, she wants to be proud of how clean it is. Okay. Or, or maybe, she, or, or maybe she, she, she don't want her husband to divorce her. <laughs> okay, maybe. That could be. <laughs> she's obsessive about cleaning. She's obsessive. You think she's a clean freak, like Michael said. Yeah. If you uh, sleep your coffee in her house, <laughs> and you are in a pickle of difficulty. <laughs> okay, very good. Maybe she is a bit fanatical. I think I like her. <laughs> Okay, so everybody, we're going to work on filling the blanks in for our grammar focus. We're going to use um, verbs from our reading to try to finish the sentences, okay? So we'll start with Ali with number one. Okay. Uh, first, Anita washes the laundry. 
washes the laundry. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Could be washes the laundry. What else could it be, Ali? Maybe doing. Maybe irons. Iron the laundry. Okay, but first we could say she does the laundry. Does she the laundry. Does the laundry. So what Ali says is correct, but she can also do the laundry. Uh, put clothes. Put clothes. Before. You could say she puts clothes in the laundry. In the laundry. Okay. Good job, Ali. Excellent. Number two, Amr. Then she um, cleans it. Then she wet the carpet. Then she wet the carpet. Vacuum. Vacuum. No, vacuums the carpet. Vacuum. Let's be careful. Only answer when it's your turn, okay? So everybody gets a chance to do it. So, Amr, remember vacuuming was this machine up here? Yes. Okay. Do you remember the vacuum? Yeah. So this is the device that she uses to clean the surface of her carpet, okay? Do you understand or do you have any questions? I understand. Okay. Number three, asthma. Uh, then she cleaned the floor. Okay, before she puts water on the floor, what does she do? She uses the broom to do what? Um, sweeps, perfect. She sweeps. Okay. Next okay. is David, she number four. Sweeps. After she yeah. sweeps the floor. Yeah, sweeps or sweep. I think sweeps, yeah? Sweeps with an S. Just take a look yeah. in the chat box. She sweeps the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Next, could we have David? What does she do after that in number four? Uh, I don't know. She sweeps the floor again. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, she, she is obsessive, isn't she? <laughs> no, then she puts water on it. So first she sweeps and then she... Remember we saw it up here in our, in our group of pictures? She, does, she uses this. Broom. No, this is oh. the broom. This is the broom. She sweeps with oh, okay. this. And then she... I don't remember. She mops. Mop. Oh, okay. Can you repeat for me? She mops the floor. She mops the floor. There you go. Good job. Francisco, number five. Then <clears throat> she moves the tables. She moves them? She might move them to be able to sweep yes, around them. for clean, done. Very good. But what does she do on the top of the table? Uh, Starts with a W. What? No, no. Wash the table. Wipes. What? Wipes. I wipes. Wipes the tables. Very good. Okay, thank you very much. Mateo, number six. Mateo, number six. Your microphone's muted. Sorry, can you hear me? Now I can. Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, number six. Um, then she cleaned the windows. Then she cleans right. the windows. Excellent. Good job. She cleans them. She could also wash. Thank you very Wash. much. Washes or cleans, they're both correct. Ah, okay. Michael, number seven. Advanced. I'm sorry, I, I think I hear another little voice. Is, Asma, is that you? 
Uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry for interruption. That's uh, okay. We can say also then that she uh, wipes the windows. You could, yeah. She could also wipe the windows. Mm, okay. okay. Michael, number seven. Cleans. Cleans the bathroom. Number eight, Mustafa. Maybe you can you can say she arranges the bedroom. Very good. She arranges it. That could be. Maybe she makes the bed and moves things around a little bit. She could also clean the bedroom. Yeah. We clean the bedroom. And number nine, Ali. And then uh, she waters the plants. Very good. She waters the plants. Any questions on our grammar exercise with those verbs? Okay, here no, she please. is. Here she is in this picture. What is she doing in this picture? Iron. That's Iron. me. If that was me, I'd have a huge frown on my face. <laughs> Why is that frown? It's the opposite of a smile. Okay. <laughs> Gr grunch, then, grumpy. Grumpy, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really grumpy, but I don't like it. Um, and here in this picture, what, what is she doing? What, what was this uh, say? Turn your frown upside down? Something yeah, exactly. Like. Turn your frown <laughs> upside down. And she's obviously watering there. Okay, so now we've got 20 discussion questions that we're going to share with each other. And we will have, this is what we're going to do, so listen carefully. Choose a question for a different classmate. And then that, that classmate will choose a question for a different student. Okay, so keep Keep the conversation moving, okay? Let's start with Mustafa. Choose a question for one of the students in the class. Okay. Matteo, uh, okay. number four. Who, 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 takes, uh, who takes out the garbage in your house? Mm -hmm. One moment. Who takes out the garbage in your house? Um, garbage is um, garbage, garbage. Trash. Trash, yes. Ah, okay, trash, okay. <laughs> um, I take the garbage uh, two, twice on a week. Who takes? Who takes it? You. Ah, who? Sorry. Oh, usually I take garbage in my home. Okay. Thank you. Okay, keep going. Okay. So, Matteo, you choose a different student now. Okay, okay. Um, I choose uh, number six and uh, four. I not see the name. Hali. Hali. Yes. Okay. Uh, number six. Does your family rec recycle anything? Uh. I I don't know. Uh. My family usually uh, don't recycle something. Uh, we use uh, some, uh, something uh, uh, we need and uh, I don't know, uh, maybe we... In your country, uh, you don't have um, recy recycled garbage? No, we just threw out uh, some garbage. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Ali, it's your turn. Okay. Maybe for Asma. Is it a good idea for all family members to do chores? Why? Um, 
Okay, this is a good idea for all family members to do short work. Yeah, I think uh, it's uh, a good idea for all my family members uh, to do chart uh, because um, uh, uh, can uh, uh, part with me uh, uh, chart and uh, help me to uh, to do all uh, all uh, all house uh, works. Uh, and uh, it's good uh, to uh, to part uh, and share me uh, and the chair uh, all the members chair uh, the the house uh, work okay nice thank you for sharing that with us asma can you do um, choose a different question for david okay Okay, does your house have any plants? Who take care of them? Mm, yeah, there are several plants in my in my house. I I care for them. I usually water them twice a week. And sometimes my rabbits try to eat them. <laughs> but I I try to protect. Okay, Asma, it's true. You're, when you just when you attend the next class, if you could speak closer to your microphone, we would be able to hear you a little bit better. It's a little bit quiet. Mm, okay. Okay. Thank you, though. Very very nice question, and thank you for answering it, David. David, can you please ask Francisco a question? Okay, number nineteen. How many bathrooms are in your house? Who usually cleans them? Uh, I have six bedrooms in my house. They are very tidy. They are very tidy. Tidy. Tidy, yes. Who keeps them tidy? It's clean and... Uh, Who keeps them tidy? Ah, oh, uh, it's my my wife. Okay, very good. Because I have uh, other things more important to do. Okay, <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> so she keeps like, the bathroom uh, tidy. Read newspaper and. Uh, oh, Francisco! <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Francisco, yes. go ahead. Go ahead and ask Michael a question. Um, <clears throat> is when who does most the the char in your house? Me. What what's chores? Errands and chores. Errands outside. Chores inside. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Me. Do you have a favorite and one that you don't like? That I don't like. I don't like them uh, all. I think. I mean, uh, they are not something that I do on my in my spare time. Okay, very good. It's just out of necessity that you do them. Yeah, I mean, it's not something that you know uh, when you have spare time, you'd um, try to do just to like to uh, to to. to to have a fun time, yeah. Okay. I will do some. Oh, I will do yeah. something else. <laughs> Sorry about that. I cannot control the neighbor children, so maybe it's time oh, to. Oh, it's, uh, it's uh, <laughs> from neighbors. Yes. Thriller okay. movie. Thriller movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, and Matt. Um, sorry, Michael. Could you choose one last question for Mustafa? Okay. Uh, so, how can you make less garbage? How can you, um, how can you make less garbage? Mm. 
<laughs> I don't know. It's a difficult question. <laughs> Let's be thinking. Uh, how can we make this garbage? I don't know. <laughs> Actually. Uh, any help, please? <laughs> How can you make this garbage? So what, like, maybe think of the things that you purchase that produce a lot of garbage and things that you purchase that create no garbage. Eat, yeah, eat all of them. All of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe eat, buy things like that are fresh with little packaging, or you can buy things that have lots of packaging, like cookies and bought cakes and breads and things like that or you can buy fruits and vegetables where you eat it all or consume it all yeah something like this yes That's nice. <laughs> okay good job you guys excellent work in today's class thank you for coming and for sharing with me are there any questions or comments about it no okay so here no, I'm gonna sorry only one question Okay. What's, what's the difference between to tidy and to tidy up? To tidy and to tidy up? Yeah. Um, they're pretty much the same, actually. To tidy up is just a phrasal verb, but it means the same thing as cleaning up the house or putting things away or arranging it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys so much for coming to the class. I have one more class left. It's a pronunciation class, thanks to Michael. But wow, it's so it's a pronunciation of uh, texts or just words? No, ED endings. Words that end in ED. Yeah, but I would like like uh, text, some poems, and uh, we read, and like you see what is wrong with me, like with my pronunciation, and you point out that and I repeat and so on. Okay, well, next time I'll do that. How about that? Okay, okay, so okay. Is... And the next time will be on uh, Monday. Okay. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Michael's very controlling, as you can see. But Why he's controlling? Earned... I would uh, like very much a pronunciation <laughs> class because you see that uh, I have a really bad right. pronunciation. What? He's doing the right because he's been a loyal student for a long time. All right, you guys, thank you so much for coming. It was nice to see you again. If I don't see you the next hour, have a wonderful weekend. If